What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what I bought at the flea market. It's actually four racks of clothing, so I'm gonna go over that and some tips in this video. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. Let's go over it. We're gonna go over what I found this week and two tips I thought were pretty interesting. Number one, um, if you work in a storage unit like me, you can actually use the space in the parking lot or outside your unit if you're inside of a hallway for temporary use. So while we're filming this, I'm actually filming outside and I'm not paying for the space outside of my unit. But after we finish talking about it, I want to put it back in the unit because I don't want to be disrespectful for, to the people who um, own this place and also to the other tenants in the area because nobody likes a messy neighbor. So we're going to go over what we have here. Also, I want you to notice that back here, there's a fourth rack of clothes clothing and essentially I'm getting a little bit more efficient at the flea market so I'm finding more items than I need so I'm actually just creating a bank because that rack back there is extra items in case for some reason it rains and I can't find items at the flea market or for some reason donations are light I'm developing a bit of a bank so that's about half of one day so I'm about half a day ahead on my sourcing and it's important not to have too much stuff because I would consider that a death pile I think really for most people you don't need more than two weeks of stuff to list and for me two weeks of stuff to list would be about five or six of these racks so I'm about 20% of the way there so let's go into what I found this week if you guys watch these videos you'll notice that I pick up similar brands but this is an example of a brand that I don't normally pick up universal thread but I did pick it up because it's a denim jacket with an oversized fit so if you guys go to Target Walmart Costco and look at what's trending it'll help you pick up styles when you don't necessarily have the best brands you may not have some of the fancier brands I have here but guaranteed you guys can find universal thread just got to find the right pieces that actually still resell a denim jacket pretty much resells no matter what brand it is Puma I like to pick up hoodies and outerwear as you'll see most of the stuff I have is hoodies and outerwear this is a one and only um, this is like a gaming I think a gaming conference hoodie so it might be cool I don't know what one and only is but it's the world's from 2022 I like to pick up this stuff it still sells um, Fanatics jersey for Philadelphia 76ers. This is NBA. All Nike sweatpants and joggers I pick up. Pretty straightforward. Polo small pony. Boston College, so I pick up all college wear. This is pronounced Fasanable, I believe. This is a really nice, thick, heavy flannel. This brand is awesome. It doesn't sell for as much as I wish it did, um, but it's really, really good stuff, and I kind of wish it sold for more, but it's kind of a sleeper brand. Another one of those gaming hoodies. I actually have a few of those on this rack. Betsy Johnson, um, for me, if it's cute, if it's outerwear, it still sells well. Um, I already washed this coat, but looks like there's a little stain here, so I'll spot treat that and see if I can get rid of it uh, during the stream, but otherwise I won't waste too much time on it. I'll just disclose that flaw. Golden State Warriors, Levi's, this is a really cool, this is called wax, like a waxy. I would use the, um, the keyword waxy when listing this, and you know, definitely love Levi's made well so at the thrift i find a good amount of stuff that's brand new so when it's brand new um, it's important to let people know because it's worth slightly more if you're worried about vero you could list this as pre-owned if you want um, this one sometimes when the dress has pockets it's worth a little bit more but there's no pocket here nike jogger this is one another one of those um, sweaters that i sold for good money last week but i forgot the style so i need to go back and figure out what this style is called before i present it but this one's nicer because it has a hood Another gaming conference hoodie, um, a Madewell shirt dress with a pocket. I like that, Madewell. A lot of UC Berkeley stuff in my area because we live near Cal. Uh, Puma hoodie, Orvis I pick up generally. Orvis LL Bean, the outdoor brands. Another small, uh, another small pony polo. Patagonia as usual. I think I find about 20 pieces of Patagonia per week. So if you guys want to stop by every Friday, I'll go over it. Columbia Sportswear. Um, I love the bigger logo one. This is nice color blocking. Lululemon, the North Face Capoline. So this Capoline stuff is nice because it keeps people dry. Another Patagonia. And I still pick it up even if the logo is falling off. I just disclose it to people. And again, remember, people are donating this stuff oftentimes because something might be wrong. Here's a brand I don't normally find, but I know it does well. Allo or Allo, North Face. This is Mountain Hardware, which I love. Mountain Hardware and Columbia, I believe, are the same company. Somebody fact check me. Uh, Madewell again. This is 
Lululemon again. And I think that, yeah, see like, sometimes Lululemon has three lines on the collar, but this doesn't, but you can see the logo back here. This is Prada. So this is not a nice enough piece that I would send to the real real. And so I'm just going to list it on whatnot, but be careful when you're selling designer brands. So be very careful. This is another one of those styles that I need to look up, but this is the same style as the one earlier with Senior Lopez. You guys know I sold a ton of that stuff in the vintage and I still have one available. Uh, I still have a couple of Senior Lopez shirts available. This is um, Orage. I don't know this brand, but I pick up all outdoor technical gear like this. This is SSLR, I've never heard of this, but it's Santa Surfing, pretty awesome print. I think it'll do fine. Um, cool prints is something that I would sell on whatnot, but not on eBay because is anybody really searching for Santa surfing? I'm not sure that they are, but pretty cool. Giants, Puma. Uh, this is a pair of Madewell coveralls. This is actually a pretty nice, pretty nice pair. Um, another pair of Nike joggers, Madewell. We've got Flip Zone or Rip Zone, Rip Zone. So uh, again, I pick up technical gear. Giants. This is Eddie Bauer, Technical Pants, Champion. This is Lululemon, another Lululemon piece. I find a good amount of Lulu each week. Adidas, Champion, more Lululemon. Levi's, I pick up all 501s. This is a great size, 36 by 32. And that's a little interesting. That is a capital E, uh, which is pretty rare, although this looks modern. It's called the Do the Rump made in Poland. That is interesting. So I'm going to look up why this is a big E, even though capital E is something that is um, usually vintage, but this is clearly not vintage. So I'll ask and find out what happened here. Wrangler, relaxed fit. So Wrangler, not the best brand. Sometimes it can be, but uh, brand new. True religion. So you can tell after a while of stitching what it is. And you could, I could just tell by this stitching that it's True Religion. There's the logo. Be careful, there's a lot of fakes with True Religion. Madewell, this is North Face. See, this is crazy that by this, I can tell it's North Face, but it also says it on the button. Snoopy, gotta love Snoopy. Um, I don't know what this logo is, so I'll have to look it up later. North Face, Madewell. This is a First Community Bank soft shell. We got a Gap Bomber jacket, um, Adidas, I'm sorry, a Levi's 502s, Levi's 501s. Again, another capital, capital E's on both of these. So these, these are also samples, which is kind of interesting why they're all capital E. Levi's again, this is a Jeffrey R heavy denim jacket. It's also fleece lined, so very soft, fuzzy. Anyway, <laughs> San Francisco Giants hoodie, uh, Bonfire Snowboarding Company. Nice snowboarding jacket. Tommy Hilfiger. Gap Bomber jacket. Why is this? It's funny, it's labeled back here in the front. So I label my shows, guys, on the front. So this is rack number two for 127. Oh, it's because we shifted it. Yeah, yeah, so rack number two for 127. Another bomber jacket, Lululemon, North Face. After a while, you can tell what it is by the fabric. This is cool, very, very good brand. Another Prana, you guys know I sell tons of Prana. Prana, Burton snowboarding jacket. This is Beta brand, also excellent brand that you guys know I pick up a lot of in the area. Madewell, uh, Despicable Me. What's this guy called? Minions. Oh yeah, Minions, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is uh, BC clothing, not the best, but Sometimes when you work with people, you got to buy it all. Reebok, Lacoste. Remember the European sizes are going to be different. If you write 52 in a title, you also want to write the U.S. equivalent. This is a funny uh, hoodie that's just an all-over print of somebody, and the company is called Shelfies. So you can just uh, make your own clothing that's an all-over print of yourself if you like. Lululemon, 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 three in a row. Um, Nike, Columbia, North Face, North Face. Polo. So you guys can see I'm picking up a lot of the same brands. More Levi's. This is what I mean by the lowercase e. It is weird that there are three capital E's that we found earlier. North Face, Adidas. So this one is KPMG, which is obviously a big accounting firm. So um, it's one of the big four. 
So if you have stuff that's a big company, you, you, could, you could actually sell it for a premium because of the logo in some cases, especially since like Patagonia stopped working with some of these brands. So if you have an OG piece, it might be worth extra. US Polo Association is not worth a lot and it's frequently mistaken for Polo. More Lulu. This is Columbia. Oh my goodness. So everything is branding. So like literally like this, I can tell it's Columbia just from the color of the tag. So Columbia, Levi's, Stanford Cardinals. They're also the trees, which is kind of interesting. They have two mascots. Somebody explain to me why they have two mascots, Cardinal and a tree. North Face again. Hurley, so you can even recognize logos. I know that's Hurley just from practice. Hurley's also owned by Nike. Lululemon, Minnesota Vikings, Madewell, San Francisco Giants, North Face, North End, not the best. 49ers jersey. This is Brandy Melville, which is really good. It's a really cool teeny bopper brand. That's one size fits all. So they just make one size for everything. Loyola Merrimouth. Guys, is Loyola in Chicago? Not sure where it is, but Loyola sells okay for me. Dogs of War? I don't know anything about Dogs of War, guys. Uh, Marmot, great brand. Playboy Bunny, let's go. So the bunny plus this logo, both are desirable in my opinion. Uh, Lulu, 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 good gracious. Five Lulus in a row. Champion, six Lulus in a row. So when you get practice and you go through the fabric, you can feel what Lycra feels like. Columbia Titanium Jacket, Mountain Hardware, Lulu, Patagonia. I've never heard of this brand. It's Come On, but this is a really, really heavy jacket, so I thought maybe it would be a good pickup. Abercrombie & Fitch, A6 is a running brand. They make great shoes to resell. Levi's Jacket, again, little E, but you gotta check, and see if it's a big E ever. Big E is in capital. Katmandu, Lululemon, Nike, Lululemon, another Lululemon. I don't recognize this logo, guys. Lululemon hoodie with the funny guy on it. No other markings. More Lulu. This looks like Soul Cycle. Patagucci, Lulu, Lacoste, Lulu, Orvis, North Face. Let's put this on the front. So, guys, I put the, the ordering on the front. That way I can keep them in order as we go. North Face, Levi's, Nike. This is Lululemon. So anytime you, you find something, sometimes it's harder to find the logo. This is crazy. There's not that much branding on it. There it is. So there's the Lulu logo. Beta brand, Champion, Lulu, SpongeBob, and Patrick. Gotta love them. Polo, Puma. I like jogger pants because people work at home now. Superman. Madewell, Polo, REI. I've never heard of this brand. Looks kind of ridiculous. Two minutes till midnight. It's um, Ninth Hall. I think this is not a good brand. Kill each other, teach each other. Huh. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is Disneyland Spirit Jersey. Pretty funny. Madewell. Um, this is the brand Sessions, another outdoor brand. True Religion. These are these are some pretty cool acid wash. Columbia, San Francisco Giants, Puma, Mountain Hardware, Madewell. This is 686 Snowboarding. Okay, that's it. So that is the three racks, but you can see here, I picked up another rack, which we'll go over next week, and I'm gonna create a bit of a bank of items. So right now I have about 20% of what I need to be one week ahead, and I'd like to be comfortably about one month ahead, as long as you have space to do that. I recommend having a little bit more stuff than you need, a little bit more time than you need, more money than you need, more friends than you need, and that'll really help you guys get ahead. All right, guys, let me know if that was useful. I essentially want to let you know what brands I buy, what items I buy, and my mentality behind buying it. I separated my giant hour-long video into multiple small videos, so let me know if that's easier to digest. Appreciate you guys. Until next time.